Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Let me turn my cup around here. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, well, welcome to Coffee in the Word on this second Sunday in Easter. Oh, it's, God's grace is awesome. Uh, there may be some changes coming up in the schedule. Uh, yesterday, I went to, uh, to a workout. It's a, if you'll check out f3nation.com. It was really, really, really good. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a workout at 5.30 in the morning. So Coffee in the Word, it may be, um, <clears throat> may be a pre-recorded message, but the other days, be here, uh, do it that morning. But uh, I'll figure it out. But uh, my, my health, I've, I've got I've to gotta concentrate on my health. Uh, but I still want to bring the Word. So here we go. This morning, on this second Sunday of Easter, um, we're going to start off in the book of Acts, and then we have a psalm reading. Uh, actually, there's two psalm readings, and then we're going to Revelation, and then the Gospel of John. So, let's get going. Acts chapter 5, verses 27 through 32. Let me get a sip of coffee first. <clears throat> All right, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. When they had brought them, they had them stand before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than human authority. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Amen. And actually, <clears throat> the psalm reading it says, uh, read the, the passage from 118 or Psalm 150. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read both of them. Psalm 118, verses 14 through 18. I mean, 14 through 29. <laughs> the Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them, and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you. Give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Amen. All right, the next psalm lesson is uh, Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Get a little coffee before going. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, the epistle lesson. 
Revelation chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. And here we go. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priest serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Amen. All right, the Gospel text, uh, according to St. John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 31. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house uh, where the disciples had met were locked, and the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the, the other disciples told them, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails on his, in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand on his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. And Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. And this is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> As always on Sundays, the Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers, and I'd like to share some of those with you. So let us pray. Creator of the universe, you made the world in beauty and restore all things in glory. Through the victory of Jesus Christ, we pray that wherever your image is still disfigured by poverty, sickness, selfishness, war, and greed, the new creation in Jesus Christ may appear in justice, love, and peace to the glory of your name. Amen. And then, Open our hearts to your power, uh, moving around us and between us and within us, until your glory is revealed in our love of both friend and enemy, in communities transformed by justice and compassion, and in the healing of all that is broken. Amen. Then, O oh God, you raised up Jesus Christ as your faithful witness and the firstborn of the dead. By your Holy Spirit, Help us to witness to him, so that those who have not yet seen may come to believe in him who is and was and is to come. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Uh, stay tuned about details about Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll, we'll get this figured out. But uh, uh, So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.